Hey AI lovers, I'm your host Eden, and this is AI Protopia News Update. So, we already discussed Chinese LLM DeepSeek in our previous video, but this time around we are really going to, well for lack of a better term, do a DeepSeek on DeepSeek. Let's dive in, shall we? Oh, DeepSeek, sweetie, did you just have a thought? And then, poof, it's gone? Almost like Big Brother stepped in and said, Nah, we don't do free speech around here. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the illusion of open source AI, where the code is open, but the mind completely under surveillance. So what is DeepSeek R1, and why did it make tech bros clutch their GPUs? Well, it's China's answer to open AI, a supposedly revolutionary open source AI that they claim cost only a measly $5.6 million to train. Meanwhile, OpenAI, Google, and Meta are out here burning through hundreds of millions just to keep up. Something doesn't add up, right? Investors saw this and panicked, like someone just whispered crypto winter in their ear. Nvidia's stock tanked nearly 18%, only to bounce back the next day when people remembered. Oh wait, we still need a boatload of GPUs to do anything in AI. But then, the real fun began. Because for all its open source glory, DeepSeek comes with a built-in Big Brother filter. You ask it about, let's say, Tiananmen Square? It starts reasoning, almost like it's about to tell you something real. And then boom, it erases its own thoughts. I mean, I haven't seen this level of self-sabotage since Twitter let Elon near the post button. But wait, it gets better. Try asking it about religious freedom in China. Same deal. It starts thinking, then it's like, Oh, wait, the CCP is watching. Delete, delete, delete. Open source? More like open, when the government allows it. Now, at first, OpenAI's very own Sam Altman was weirdly supportive, calling DeepSeek impressive, which is kind of like McDonald's saying, wow, Burger King really nailed it with that Whopper. But then, a few days later, OpenAI started hinting at something shady. They were like, uh, actually, maybe these guys stole our research instead of developing it from scratch. Ah, here we go every AI debate's favourite hot take. But didn't OpenAI steal data too? All right, listen up. OpenAI trained on publicly available information, meaning stuff anyone with an internet connection could access. That's like reading books in a library. Deep seek? They're being accused of pulling some straight up Mission Impossible nonsense, allegedly siphoning knowledge directly from OpenAI's own AI models. That's not training on the public web. That's more like sneaking into Tesla's factory copying their blueprints, and then claiming you engineered an electric car for $200 and a sandwich. And don't even start with, but companies sued OpenAI for training on news articles. Yeah, and guess what? Half of them now have deals with OpenAI, because they realised fighting AI was like fighting gravity. It's happening whether they like it or not. Because let's be real, building a state-of-the-art AI model for five to six million dollars that's like saying you built a Ferrari using pocket change and some duct tape. Either they discovered magic, or they cut some serious corners. Now here's the kicker. Some AI companies are already integrating DeepSeek into their platforms. And I gotta ask, do you really want to use an AI that's controlled by a government that actively censors the internet? Remember, China's the same place where jaywalking could get your face on a government blacklist, where a bad social credit score can ban you from buying a plane ticket. And you think their AI is going to be different? Come on! DeepSeek is open source, the same way North Korea is a democratic republic. The branding says one thing, but the control tells the real story. So what do you think? Is this the kind of AI we should be okay with? Or is this just China's version of Big Brother, dressed up in open source hype? Drop your thoughts in the comments. Let's talk. And as always, stay curious, stay sharp, and don't let the bots gaslight you.